I'm joined by Terry Jacob, registered nurse and breast health navigator at Morris Hospital, along with Dr. Richard Szymanski, a radiologist on the Morris Hospital's medical staff. We want to spend a little bit of time talking about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Why is it, uh, why is it important that we recognize Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Well, according to the American Cancer Society, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women, with the exception of skin cancer, and it will account for for 30% of the new cancers diagnosed this year. So one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. And in 2020, over 276,000 women will be diagnosed and over 42,000 women will lose their life to breast cancer. Um, So many women and their families have been impacted by this disease, and we currently have over 3.8 million breast cancer survivors in the U.S. As we know, with with not just breast cancer, but with other uh, uh, ailments and and diseases, guidelines often change. Uh, What are the current guidelines for uh, breast cancer's early detection? I'm Dr. Szymanski. I've worked at Morris Hospital for about about 10 years, and pertinent to our discussion, I I read the mammograms along with uh, some other physicians, and I I also perform image-guided breast biopsies at the hospital. As far as the current guidelines, there's really three main components to that. Number one, the ACR, which is the American College of Radiology, recommends annual screening mammograms starting at age 40. And that's because the research, and they've done a lot of research over the years in, in different countries, that show that annual screening starting at age 40 saves the most lives. Um, and mammograms are not, they're not 100% accurate, but they do decrease mortality approximately 30 to 40%, which is a significant amount considering approximately one in eight women do get breast cancer, unfortunately. So unfortunately, this is a very relatively common disease. So that's number one, is to get the annual screening mammogram starting at age 40. Number two, as far as guidelines go, is to get a clinical breast exam. Now, this is an exam performed by your doctor, uh, usually OB-GYN or other primary care doctor. Uh, this is recommended annually at age 40 and age 41 and then, and then following. And then this can also be offered earlier, though, ages 25 to 39 every one to three years. That's the second important factor. Mm-hmm. And then number three, the number three recommendation is it's, it's called breast self-awareness. And that just means use your eyes and your hands and basically your knowledge of your physical characteristics to pay attention to that and be familiar with the, uh, the look and uh, feel of your body to notice any changes. So if there is a lump or something new or an asymmetry, let your doctor know. Um, discuss these changes with your doctor. Most oftentimes, and it's important to know that most oftentimes these changes will be something benign. It won't be cancer. Mm -hmm. But in some cases it is. So in some cases it can be serious. So that's the other third factor. It's important to follow up with any changes. Sure. Why are those, uh, let's get back to the mammograms for a second. Why are those annual screening mammograms so important? It's, It's important to do it every year. And really the goal of any screening study and screening mammograms is to find cancer early so it can be treated early, uh, something can be caught early before it's, it's spread, and, and in that case, more easily treated and cured. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, uh, breast cancer can be cured. That's one of the really main positive things about this is that there is, there is very good treatment. As I said before, annual screening mammograms not not 100%, but it's currently the best way we have to reduce breast cancer mortality. And it has shown in studies to have made a significant difference in the past several decades. Mm -hmm. One other thing I want to mention about that, when we read the mammograms, we're really comparing to the previous studies. So what we're doing as it's being read is we have the current year in front of us and then the previous year also in front of us. And what we're looking for is very, very subtle changes between the years. So that's why it's important to have consistent screening mammograms because it's that comparison to the prior studies that's very important. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I think uh, in some of our past business spotlights with Morris Hospital uh, during this uh, pandemic, we've learned that people have become, or earlier on, were were a little reluctant to to, to go to the hospital and and have these exams. Is that the... 
Has that been the case with the mammography? And that's that's not something that should be done, should it? Shouldn't put well, it off. You're absolutely correct. I'm glad you you brought that up because um, COVID should really not stop anyone from getting a screening study, any med- medical screening study, um, including mammograms, uh, especially early on during this pandemic. And this was nationwide. There was a significant decrease of people going, especially to the emergency room, which obviously, I mean, is, is very serious. I mean, the, sure. uh, and clearly there was a concern with COVID. You don't want to go somewhere where there could be other people with, with COVID. But especially with the screening mammograms, we take all precautions. We're wearing masks. We're sanitizing all the equipment. We're very, very careful. So people should not hesitate to come in. Sure. Uh, they really shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Well, Morris Hospital opened a new women's imaging center earlier this year as part of the first phase of, of some major renovations that took place at the hospital. Uh, what can you tell us about the new women's imaging center? As anyone coming to the hospital in the past six months or so or driving past the hospital has uh, probably noticed, a large portion of Morris Hospital is undergoing some major renovations, um, especially we have our new emergency department, which is really nice currently renovating surgery, and we have a new women's imaging center, which is really nice. We have new new rooms, new equipment. Um, I don't know if, Terry, if you want to add a little bit. Sure, our, our sure. New, our uh, state-of-the-art facilities. women's diagnostic um, imaging center, um, it was designed by women themselves to provide the ideal environment for women's health services um, in one convenient location. We offer our own separate waiting area, We have a really nice private dressing area that leads into our exam suites, um, all of which is like in a calm, spa-like environment. And as always, um, your care is provided by our caring professional staff when you come into us. Yeah, outstanding. Uh, Any final thoughts for our listeners before we conclude today? Again, if age 40 or older, you know, schedule a mammogram. It's important to have that initial baseline study for comparison and then follow up, follow up annually. Um, I would also say in this time of in this crazy pandemic that we have, if you've missed your annual screening mammogram for any reason, don't wait an entire year at your normal time to get your screening mammogram if you've already missed it. You know, just schedule it and come in and, and, and get it as, as soon as you can. Terry, anything to add? Sure, if I could just interject um, to schedule. We know, we talked this morning about how important mammography is in, in early detection and that mammography really does save lives. And to schedule your mammogram with Morris Hospital in our Shanahan, Diamond Coal City, Morris, or our Ottawa location, um, you can call 815-942-4105. All right. Very good. Well, Certainly appreciate you coming on and spending some time with our listeners here this morning. Thanks so well, much. Thank for you very much. Us. Sure. Stay well and uh, you too. Thank Stay you. safe. You too. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.